What is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel. So I thought I'd make a video discussing a lot of these limited hash rate cards. Uh, there's a lot of you that have joined my discord and, you know, unfortunately you found out uh, after you've purchased a card, you got it in, you threw it in Windows 10, you threw it in Hive OS and all of a sudden, dang, it's an LHR card. No wonder I got such a good deal on it. Um, so right now on sites here, like offer up on sites like eBay, there is a boatload and a variety of cards on here. And there's no real indication on any of these, whether it's a previous LHR card or uh, one that was pre LHR um, rollout, or it's, you know, current. Any of the new cards that have come out, I'd say in the last May, June, July-ish, assume that it's an LHR card. Assume that it's a limited hash rate card. Uh, better safe than sorry. That being said, as to what falls within the limited hash rate seems to vary based off of who you talk to, what testing each person has done, what driver they're currently on. So be very weary. But I want to give you guys some of my experience uh, with um, 3060s at least, because that's the only realm I've gotten into. Uh, 3070s and higher are, are definitely past my price range and comfort level, um, but still phenomenal cards, don't get me wrong. So uh, I got my hands on a EVGA NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 back in April via the Newegg Shuffle. Now I know Newegg Shuffle is not available in all countries, Thankfully, I'm lucky enough to have it available to me here in the United States. So I won the Newegg Shuffle. I got this card in and in Windows 10 with the dummy plug running on the 470 driver, which side note, by the way, if you need this driver in my Discord, there's a link down below, guys. Uh, there is a sub channel in the Discord for this driver. I have it linked directly to the hobbyist miner at gmail.com Google uh, Drive, and it's freely available for you guys to download if you guys ever need it. So, anyways, in Windows 10, it worked great. Uh, it, it worked the way we expected, which was nice. This was back in April. In Hive OS, sadly, uh, it didn't work exactly the way we needed it to. So, that's why I'm running it on Ravencoin right now. So right now, Ravencoin, we're at 22.80 uh, mega hash. If we go over to what to mine and take a look at this, there we go. Um, so 3060 selected, uh, we were at 22.80 and we're at about 130, just some estimates there. Quick math, not gonna spend a ton of time on this, uh, but as you guys can see, between Ethereum and Ravencoin, you're about 10 cents um, with these cards because of the limited hash rate. So uh, the nice thing is I am mining as much Ravencoin as I can right now with the appropriate cards just to kind of get my honeypot of Ravencoin uh, in a good place uh, before inhabiting occurs uh, towards the end of the year. So let's go ahead and talk about how you, as a fellow miner, figure out through all the noise which card to get. How do you figure out which one you want? How do you figure out, you know, which one is best? You know, you're talking with this eBay lister right here, and they have it, they have this 3060 listed for $849. And you're like, okay, what do I do here? So a community member provided this graphic to me. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw this graphic up on the screen right now. So I know it's not the highest resolution, so work with me. But uh, this graphic is, I think, very helpful. Looking at cards across the board, uh, 3060s, 3070s, 3080s, whatever you run into. And uh, I appreciate the community member uh, for throwing this out there to me. I won't disclose their name, uh, but wanted to kind of get this out there for you guys. So, and I'll actually have a card at the end that we can look at together. So if we have an Asus card, it actually lets us know V2 Victor 2 indicator in the product name and no LHR logo anywhere on the box. So if you come across an Asus card on any site or whatever, ask 
them to take a picture of the barcode sticker. And on that barcode sticker, you can see if it says V2, that means it's an LHR card. And that's the first indicator. If we're talking gigabyte, uh, the revision two indicator in the product name, uh, same thing, ask the person to take a picture of the sticker and it, uh, it'll have it in there. It says Rev REV standing for revision and then 2.0. If you come across somebody who's not willing to work with you and provide you these pictures, you should pretty much bet upon the fact that it's an LHR card. Uh, for MSI, they actually, kudos to MSI, uh, MSI, at the very end of the uh, product description on the box, they actually put LHR, which is phenomenal. Thank you, MSI. Uh, Galax, Inno 3D, and Zotac. They actually go an even farther mile, mile and they put LHR right on the box itself which is awesome. So look for it. Uh, you, you know, it's right on the front, right on the back, big black sticker with white text, L H R limited hash rate. So let's go ahead here, guys. I got my hands, uh, on another 3060 via a new egg shuffle. And let's go ahead and look at the box. It's a gigabyte. Uh, it's one of the white ones that they had more recently on the new egg shuffle and uh let's take a look at the box and see can we follow this and find out is it lhr or is it not so let's go ahead and cut over to the camera all righty guys so uh here is the first 3060 oh, let me turn off this wind I'm trying to get the camera out of the way forgot to turn off the fan Okay, so here is the first 3060 that I spoke about in the video. This is the EVGA. This is the one I got back in April, currently hooked up to our um, Cyclops rig, and uh, it's currently mining Ravencoin. So let's talk about this guy. This is what we were just talking about in the video. So we got our hands on a gigabyte. Uh, the Vision is the addition there. Uh, and this is the 12 gig 3060. Now let's take a look at this box. We got a 12 gigabyte, it says, three X fans, the overclocked edition, and it's their wind force model. And hey, it's got some RGB 2.0. So going over this box here, we don't see anything. We see 3060, ray tracing, DL, DLSS, nothing on the side of the box here. Uh, let's go ahead and flip this over. Nothing over here. Okay, that's the model. We're gonna look at that in a second. I wanna look at the back here. So we got some QR codes, nothing here, nothing here, nothing up top here, nothing here. There's actually what our card looks like right there. Pretty cool looking. So per the graphic that we were just discussing, in this model information, it should say something about revision two. And there it is, Rev 2.0, NVIDIA RTX 3060 slash REV 2.0. So this card is an LHR card. Now I know this already, uh, but I'm sharing it with you guys. Uh, and what I did was I actually pop this into one of my rigs and booted it up in Hive OS. And in Hive OS, it literally says LHR. Like it comes across right where it says your card name regarding 3060 or you know RTX 3060 gigabyte. It says LHR in green right in Hive OS. So based off of that, I wanted to share this video with you guys and give you guys a quick disclaimer, also a quick guide to help you go ahead and find out which cards are LHR and which cards aren't. I would recommend as you're shopping out there to hit up the seller and ask them for the necessary information, pictures of all sides of the box, pictures of the barcode side with the model number and all of that. And that'll make you a more knowledgeable buyer to make sure that you do not get your hands on these LHR cards, unless of course you don't mind and you're looking to mine something separate like an Ergo or a Raven coin or whatever. Well guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.